Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to my floss tube. This is the first uh, floss tube for, well, it's the only floss tube for the month of November. And this will go out on the first Saturday in November. So welcome to my channel and um, hope you have your cuppa. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. It may be quite short. We'll see. Oh my goodness, it's at the perfect temperature. It's going to be cold by the time I finish. Anyway, look, we'll start off. I have my stash right next to me. We'll start off with some knitting. So this is the Paisley Pearl. This is the knit along that Rachel Keener has got for us. This is the one to Freddy's After You um, color blend if you haven't seen this already um, please oops my owls have fallen stand by because I want to show you my owls they're really really cool I think I have two but I can't find where my where I put my purple ones my daughter keeps stealing them look these are my owls these are if you haven't already guessed it for the ends of my needles and they have holes in their butts so that they go on but they face both directions and my hubby 3d printed them for me um they are not finished um so there's a little bit of threading between the two of them but my needles go into there these are fairly small needles and they keep the stitching on my needles because i'm terrified of the stupid thing going off even though i shove my stitches way back all right i haven't even looked at this properly myself would you believe it this is now section no this is the color color choice three but it is still week two there's still another pattern chunk to go for week one um i have absolutely adored stitching this so there's the the so far pattern so I know I have made a complete dog's dinner of some of this um, my ribbing there's a section of my ribbing that has a lot to be answered for because I don't know I can't count to two or something uh, then we have this knit my knit is perfect I'm happy with that and then there was this one I'm not actually sure what this textured bit is supposed to be looking like and that would have been nice to know what the texture is actually supposed to look like. And then we have this, which is basically just your stripes. And then this is your first uh, textured section in the second colorway. Now this is actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's holy. Now I don't know if they were supposed to be in a straight line or not. Again, I didn't know what it was supposed to look like. So they're a little bit staggered. They are uniform as they go around, but they are pippered for want of a better term now this this one here this one is supposed to be from what I have seen a leaning rib okay so it was basically um, start to pearl early finish it early that kind of thing with the knit I don't know how good a job I did it looks it looks okay I think there was one space and I'm kind of thinking oh my god there's no stitches between this I am um, yeah let's just leave it at it looks okay <laughs> i'm sorry rachel i'm still so new at these patterns it was like i it, i know it's easy like they were knits and they were pearls but there you go i think that's probably the bad side but anyway it's still gonna feel awesome the wool feels amazing um the colors are incredible and from this brown here we're going to start going into the greens so if you haven't seen the colorway for the greens for the whole lot of one two freddy's after you then go and look at um last month's floss tube or look at my unboxing which i will try and link in the eye if i can remember i i always forget the cards the cards are tricky to remember because it's, it's very much an afterthought, an after edit and an afterthought. All right, now the bad news about this, I had two bars of Irish chocolate in there and my daughter got into my bag. I'm a bit upset. Okay, the other project bag that I have 
is peppermint purple. Now, um, I watched Rachel doing her Halloween. Sorry, I'm trying to find my fabric. I um, I watched Rachel doing her Halloween um, vlog, floss tube, golly, um, this morning. And she is up to date. She's done the mushrooms. I'm so proud of her. Um, that is the colour for next week. That's how I fix this up. My needle stays in the top. My needle minder goes there and it holds the bits. But we are done Mario week. I'll give you a close up. This is what I call Mario week. They do look like the dinkiest little mushrooms ever. They're really, really cool. Now, what I actually did with this one, which is a lot different from how I normally do it, I actually started, I usually start in the top left of any of the boxes, but I zigzagged down this time around rather than going across and back and all that kind of jazz. Um, and yeah, zigzagged up and down. And my back actually looks kind of cool for once. We see, look, we've got spaghetti monster here. My backs, I'm not very proud of at all. Oops, sticking. Um, so, yeah, Rachel completely puts me to shame on that. So, I will give you a tour of the year. So we've got Mario Week. We've got these very, very pale ones over here to the right. And the darker colours over to the left. So you can barely see, like you can see that there's stitches there, but they really are ever so faint. Um, my logo logo saying sorry i'm still sticking is a doctor who saying and there's the rest of the stitching and then up to the top panel and um, the heart i think was when covid hit or something i still can't remember i'd have to go back and wonder why somebody was stitching that week it was a shit week in the world and they discovered that there was a heart in the crosses um and i did a dog's breakfast <laughs> i've actually i've done it in three two one i think or six two six and a glow in the dark um so it's on top of the other stitches as well because i forgot to t keep the heart out and um yeah but all the other boxes are awesome and cool and this is so so cool so this is the free um stitch along that you can do with peppermint purple on the facebook group um please see previous links if i don't link it in here please tell me um with regard to this she is using the same claire brad burn claire brad burn is using the same block method so you can copy the blocks and it will still work for next year and she will have another free stitch along and i think she was selling the kits um they were available on her peppermint purple site and i again will try and link everything in i should probably do a link tree kind of form that rachel does to be honest with that but th this has been brilliant it's been easy to print um the page of the pattern each week uh, you basically just need the base pattern kit and then just add the page each week so that you're not killing all the trees um, I have all of my floss in here as well for the whole year in um, Ziploc bags and I separated them as time went on into threads done threads not done and kept them in order so they're all nice and neat and tidy that one uh more stitchy goodness what have i got my daughter has been Ooh. oh okay uh, my daughter hasn't been dropping things in i got these these are part of my sips and stitches stiotch group um a couple of enormous magnets not the heavy duty magnets at all but they do stick together quite well to each other they're huge um the idea being that i was going to have two of these on my work and I use my Zazzle Stiotch project bag all the dang time it's awesome so that's on Zazzle and that was from the Sips and Stitches group if you want to join in there now these 
are my threads this month. I'm wondering why I'm, what I have done. I've done a video again of me unboxing these um, and I thought I would show them. So I went into a lot of detail during the month of October. If you want to see that, please check out the eye for that video. So we've got the Weeks Dye Works colors. They are gorgeous. These are alphabetical in the order that you get them in. So you have baby's breath and I'm flying through these because if you want to eat Dale's, you can go into the video that, that is linked. Um, so you've got baby's breath, which is a beige kind of variegation. You have baked apple, which is this gorgeous kind of um, pinky brown. Uh, bark, which is green, and it's a variegation. I can see the dark greens and the light greens. And then you've got banana pudding, which is a kind of yellow beige. You have bashful, which is a kind of pink blush. And you have this gorgeous banana popsicle, awesome name, with the lemon and pale yellow threads. So that's the week's dye works. Um, I just got my invoice for the next month. I yelped ever so slightly. This one I will continue with. This club, this Threads Club, are available for international subscribers. Okay, so that's the week's dye works, and you get, what was that, five, six in that. This is the Over a Soy d'Alger Thread Club. These are the October colors, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag because they're nice and clear, but you've got these pale... Oh, by the way, these feel amazing. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful silks. Um, this one, I would be hard-pressed not to continue on, and they do start in number order, so you've got 111, 112, 34, and 5. So you've got these gorgeous shades of pale blues, kind of greys, into the darker blue and the other blues. So that one I'm really, really tempted to continue with. This one, not so much. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the bobbin putting me off or what. They don't feel brilliant from a softy kind of point of view. Maybe, again, because they're on the bobbin. Uh, these are Avera Soy 100.3 Thread Club. So you get these five colours in there. Um... And I did say in my video when I got these, uh, shipping has been combined. So I got all of these together. So again, if this is something that you're interested in doing, okay, Stitch in Time shop will accommodate you. So um, if there is a thread club that you want to take part in, they will join these together so that your shipping is consolidated. Um, they have done that for me and I'm a local. I like, I could go down and collect these almost from the store. Um, so a stitch in time, if you're interested, hit pause, I will zoom in so you can see it, hit pause, grab the details, go to the website, go to the email, and, um, Carolyn will sort you out on threads. All right. These away. Um, I have one more club coming. No, Sophie, go away. I have one more th club coming. Um, one one more subscription coming next month. So there's like five or something. All right. This is Ursula, a.k.a. Not a Mermaid. <sighs> now... I don't know where I was up to. At the, no, I can't have shown you this because we only had part two at the beginning of the month. But I may have shown it somewhere. This is Dark Queen of the Sea. This is from Autumn Lane Stitchery. If you're interested in joining along with this stitch along, um, please jump on the Facebook Autumn Lane Stitchery, Dark Queen of the Sea, Sal, I think it is. I will put the link in the description because finding it was quite difficult. Um, all right, now, what have I done? Uh, this is part two. The part two is the body behind the fish. So last time it was Tom, Dick and Harry. 
the three fish. This time we've got the hips and the coral bustle. Let's, let's just call it that. Now, I decided, this is 28 cat linen. This is from Leslie Lafleur from, um, 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 what is she? She's under the sea fabrics. Holy crap. Don't do that again, Pippa. That was a challenge. Well, actually, you know, what was the challenge was I was a lunatic and I decided to do one over one for the skin on her belly. I'm not going to be continuing this insanely. Have a look. My stitching is terrible. Okay, so uh, we have all of this in normal cross stitch. Yes, there's probably mistakes in there. I know I had to compensate for some of these because I started my fish here and miscounted the linen. So I've kind of got three in some sections and two in others. So I've tried to cobble it together as best as I can and it will come out in the wash eventually. But I went one over one here and I don't know if I finished, it doesn't look like a finished crosses in the center. Some of them looks like they're smaller than others and it's like, oh, lordy, lordy, I'm the only one who's going to see it close up. Um, yes, I was bonkers. And as soon as I had done this tiny little bit, I thought, uh-oh, I'm stuck now. I'm going to have to keep going. So I'm hoping that the boobs start here <laughs> and we don't have to go higher with anything else because there is a, there is a color change just here in the top of the, like the sternum. And I think what we're going to then get is like a breastplate corset booby kind of affair. I only say that we're going up because Aaron and Cassandra, seriously, the jokers that they are, alluded to the fact that we might go up. And then Aaron, when I questioned him about it, said, well, we didn't say that. So anyway, we get dropped the next piece tomorrow today tomorrow by the end of today we might get it i'm in australia i'm already on november the first we have also had the letters from hogwarts i haven't i've moved it i'll have to hold please um i'll have to get that um so yeah there is my dark queen of the sea um and ursula and she is Dunsky uh, for the for today and tomorrow I'll get stuck into her again uh, just trying to see if my letters from Hogwarts is in a box stand by either have played theme music, lift elevator music in that section, or I'll have cut it out. Now, I don't think I've done much in this, to be honest, so that's probably why I didn't think to even grab it. Um, what I have done is found that I can put this into Pattern Keeper. So, all right, here's the tip. Okay, dokie, there is my in total. Just get it into the picture. All right, here is my tip for Pattern Keeper. This works in Pattern Keeper, okay? You need to take out this top bit here and you need to exclude the envelopes down here. Sorry, I'm just off camera. The envelopes will go in down here. Leave them off. Leave this off. Just put in the envelopes into Pattern Keeper, you will need to work out your grid sizes. You will need to input something like uh, 76 by 90, whatever it is, work it out on the chart, do your math. And then you need to pull your corners to each of the corners of the page and you will be good to go once you export it. The fact that this is now on Pattern Keeper actually meant like that I flew along on this bit here. It was so much easier. 
So if you can get this on Pattern Keeper, please get it. Okay, and what you might have to do with Pattern Keeper, I will try and I've got some time off work at the moment, so what I might do is do a Pattern Keeper kind of lesson um, and see how I get that together of how to do it and how you need to grab certain pages. So, for instance, when you're working on chapter one, you want to grab one element because Pattern Keeper won't cope with more than one element on the page. But it means that you can at least, you know, kind of get there eventually. If you're doing overlays, it might get a little bit tricky. Like you want to know what spaces to avoid kind of thing. That might get a little bit tricky. And, oh my God, I found a stitcher, um, a cross stitch pattern on Etsy that is a girl in a lion suit, like a onesie in cross stitch. And I'm thinking of using that for um, here. I don't know if I showed you last month. Hold, please. I don't think I showed you, but I might have mentioned it. I found this gorgeous little boy, Lion, in on Etsy as well. And I was thinking of using that because, God help me, Rachel, you enabled me. And I wanted to have something that was super, super cute. And her Slytherin snake doesn't suit me, but I still wanted something super cute. So the girl and the lion may suit here. I have kind of downloaded another couple of lion images um, to put in chapter one. And yeah, then after that, it's kind of like continue on um, in a bit more of Stuart style. Now, let me tell you the bad news, if it's bad news. It was very sad, very emotional, opening up my Facebook email today and having an email there from Stuart or a post from Stuart saying chapter six was released and it was like an end of an era even though I'm nowhere near chapter six. Um, I'm gonna pop you the other way around for a second so hello. Um, yeah, it was like an end of an era looking at the start of the chapter six, the end of this year's Cunning Cross Stitch Letters from Hogwarts. Um, the the webs, the Facebook page is going to continue because there's a Disney theme and there's an Animal Crossing theme. If you're into it, get on it. You're going to have so much fun. I'm not, which is fine. I have enough projects, to be honest. But I will enjoy watching how it's going to come out. And he gave me a sneak peek, well, sorry, not a sneak peek. He gave me a sneak along with everyone else that um, he is working on another fandom Stitch Your Own Adventure. So be warned, geeks, it's on. Um, I think Stuart has found his niche. I bought him coffee, beer and fish and chips today because, oh my God, this pattern is incredible. So pattern six, chapter six dropped. I open up the PDF from his blog. If you do not have Facebook, you can still get it on the blog. If you do not have Instagram, you can still get it on the blog. It will stay in perpetuity on his blog. The address will be in the description. All right. Um, all right. So chapter six dropped and I opened up the PDF and it sits there on the main screen, which I don't have. It's in my folder. Anyway, it basically says letters from Hogwarts and it's just a picture of something whatever it is and I have to, I let it sit there actually for a couple of minutes going I want to see it but I don't want to see it I want to see it but I don't and so I scroll down slowly and the next page appears and it was like okay all right here we go big girl pants on scroll down start reading the first letter Patronus everyone kind of guessed Patronus it's year six chapter six it all matches through with the books and then you read the letters and the links and I read it through each one. I actually scrolled right through the whole thing. Well, pattern one choice was like, oh my God, holy cow. That looks absolutely incredible. I think it was the castle. The next one is inside an inner scene and the next one is another scene. I'm kind of thinking, 
oh good lord how am I going to choose these are just amazing forget about the story kind of so much the patterns are incredible in in chapter six and then it comes down to the Patronuses now Stuart goes above and beyond normally yeah <laughs> I didn't count how many Patronuses there were, but the pages continue and continue and continue. It must have been three full pages. They're small on the page, so but there are, I think, everything. I read that there was a heron, that there was the horse, there was a Clydesdale horse. So you've got two different horses. It just kept going. Um, he tried to include absolutely everything, great and small and everything else. And they're in this kind of um, Patronus grey kind of, you know, light kind of finish so um yeah incredible and then at the very last page it's you know hey you know thanks if you enjoyed this thing buy me a coffee which is on the coffee page which coincidentally not so coincidentally i have now added on my account so if you would like finger 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 no i want to go down 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 there here you see the coffee cup? I'm showing that on the wrong screen too. There is a coffee cup. Here. No? Here. Here. How oh, goodness. Anyway. Yeah, not enough caffeine. I'm having some tea. Alright. If you would like to support me on my channel, there is a coffee cup. And there is a link down in the description for you to purchase a coffee for me and I would be much appreciated seeing as I can't actually drink all that coffee. Anyway, moving on. Um, we have a flip through. So what I will do, I will stay on the main screen with, you know, hello. Now, if you are into Anne Stokes, this was um, an immediate media magazine, uh, issue 297, which is the September magazine. Um, this is an Anne Stokes special. If you can get your hands on it, it may be worth getting. So if you like Anne Stokes, there is actually a Q&A in here. All right. Now, there are some beautiful little cross-stitch patterns like that from uh, Lizzie. This is Lizzie. And I think it's Jureen. No, it's a Lucy Heaton. Go to Daddy. Then you've got um, oops, mice. And my camera this way is going to be a bit of a douche because it is and then here is the Anne Stokes you actually get this pattern okay she's gorgeous and the unicorn now there is back stitching through her headpiece here and there's back stitching of the unicorn where am I going unicorn um, horn and there's back stitching on her um, arm kind of lit thingy bracelet armlet and um, just highlighting it it's just absolutely incredible now Anne Stokes is probably up there when it comes to designers so yeah and through her hair as well there's also cross stitching or sorry back stitching uh, then you've got the usual um, articles and then you get the homes now do you like your homes? Oh, I want to go that way. Now, we've got an igloo. You've got your um, woodland cottage. You've got your home, your three-story upper and lower. Then you've got your high-rise, your beach hut, and you've got your canal barge. So really, really cool. Patterns all in there. And then you get this frog alphabet in this issue. So this is what you get with these cute little frogs on each of the letters and I think they do the numbers uh, as well. Uh, all the letters, no, no numbers this time. All right, now um, there's a couple of other of the freebie patterns. And then Jenny Vanderveel, Vanderveel does the cottage garden. Sorry, I'm going off the page. She does this cottage garden. Um, there is this most beautiful, I'm trying to find the designer's name for this one. Um, why can I not see the name? She's got a picture there. Uh, Fabi Riley. 
Um, how cute is that hedgehog? Seriously, that's just divine. Shows how to do the colonial knot, uh, which works a little bit differently. It's a figure of eight knot rather than the French knot, which is around and around. Um, you get all of these card patterns. So you've got thank yous, congratulations, letters, happy birthday, and fancy lettering. And again, there was a flip through, I think, last weekend, if you want to have a look at these in much more detail and better on the screen. Um, you can get rulers. And she actually, the designer has put the rulers into the block rather than a piece of cardboard. That was Ronan Nori who's done that. Uh, it shows you how to do it, but the, yeah, there is a ruler in there to keep it rigid. There is the most gorgeous. Now he's not a tatty teddy. It's a fuzzy friend. It's by Ian Hallows. Backstitching details galore. That way. Even put that. No, that one. All right, fingers out of the way. There we go. Isn't he gorgeous? And if you're into your sailing ships, there was this one. Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing. It's actually the Mayflower. Um, so Hornblower, not Hornblower. Who was a Russell Crowe? Didn't he do the Mayflower kind of thing? Somebody did a pet of the month. They sent in their photo and they got their pet made into a pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? And the pattern is available then for everyone. It's a Cornish Rex. And she just wrote in. Also in the book is this beautiful hand dream catcher so that's really really cool so if there are any of these patterns that you would like i'm quite happy to dissect the magazine or let you um, have some more details for it you can actually download these online there is a virtual copy of them and you can get back orders as well so if there's something in particular that you enjoyed in that there is that and the free kit this month was the Minnie Mouse kind of furry friend, furry tails. So she's all kinds of cute. Now, on to woolly things. This is, well, let's go in order. This is box 18 and this is box 17. Okay. There are some amazing stuff in these boxes. Okay, so this is Darn Good Yarn. I subscribe to this every month. And you get uh, the same box. Everyone gets the same box. In box 17, it's the same for everyone. In box 18, it's the same for everyone. So you can get sneak peeks if you like and find out what's going to happen in your box or you can keep it all a secret. I don't watch Mrs. Coffee's videos because she gets hers before me. And I don't want to be disappointed. Not disappointed. I want to be surprised when I get my own. All right, so this was in box 17. How yummy is that? It's so bright. Now, there is actually another box that has similar colorway. Um, so I would probably put them together and they are both uh, similar worsted weights. This is a Vibrant Macaron. Uh, this is uh, retail at $15. It's 50 grams, 75 yards. It, there's not a lot to this. And um, sorry, I'm kind of seeing if there's a way that I can show it and you still have my mug in the shot. Um, the needle gauge is four and a half, five and a half, um, 16 to 20 stitches in the four inches, five and a half to six and a half crochet hook and 11 to 14 stitches in the four inches. Um, it is a four worsted weight and it's a hand wash. Now, look at the gift that we got in this box. And I'm not going to take this one out because if you want to see it, you can go and check out the full video. And I checked that everything is in there and it is. It's a DIY peacock stuffed animal kit. It's so cute. The crochet, there is a crochet pattern in this and there is a knit pattern in this. And both of them look amazing. Sometimes when these boxes come out one looks better than the other they both look absolutely incredible the pattern for this has been really really cool 
So if you want this, this is still available, I think, on the site. Um, you can buy these in either the sales section or the kit section. I actually have other kits in the kit section. Um, this, again, retails at $15 US. Um, it's a 3mm double-pointed needle or a 3mm crochet hook. Everything you need is actually in the kit. It actually comes with the hooks. It comes with the yarn, the stuffing, the crochet hook, the knitting needles and the darning needle. I mean, how cool is that? As a gift that you want to give someone, adult or child, that's really, really cool. Then, of course, you get the brochure and it gives you a pattern for the wool. And I can't remember what this one was. Oh, yeah, the fingerless gloves. So there's a there's a fingerless glove in crochet. And here's the knit. Uh, that way here's the, sorry trying to get the shine off and the knit so marked difference the crochet looked sloppy whereas the knit looks really kind of neat so again pick your projects um so that was box 17 and box 18 is this gorgeous gorgeous beauty and remember I did the darn good yarn um it's up behind up behind me the string art it's on another video please go just check out my darn good yarn stuff anyway this is another baby that could be done in a similar isn't it beautiful it's a fingering weight i'll give you the details it's actually called confetti it's uh, sorry it's a sports weight fine it's a number two, retails for $15.99. And the colorway, it looks like something that I've hand dyed with Knit Crate, which I'll come to in a minute. And it's just gorgeous. So it's the spray kind of um, feel on all of the colors. So that that's beautiful. Don't quite know what I would do with this. I am kind of thinking of string art, but I'm not quite sure whether I would do a circle um pattern or something a little bit more in depth still thinking uh, i have done the pyramid before and in this you actually get this baby here now this baby here is a fat quarter this is a floral flat quarter and it's got these gorgeous purples in it it's cotton um it values at nine dollars it's 18 by 22 inches it's crafted in china and the whole idea for that is that you make a bag with this so the pattern for the knit is that bag there and the pattern for the crochet is this dumpy little thing but it's cute really really cute and then you line it with the fabric so that was the plan for this darn good yarn box 18 absolutely adored box 18 so that is going to be used in a future project no no quibble about that that is awesome and last but not least my knit crate you can see it up in the top camera all right my knit crate for october september october i think it's i think it's september and there is a print error on the book so it says august it is actually september oops on that so we actually have two august magazines but this is september everything else inside says it's september um so these are the colors that you could have got uh there's that this is one that rachel gets rachel gets the chill out box i think and I have been getting the Anything Goes, but I have since changed to the other box. And that is the, the uh, no, this one here. They are the sock box. Okay, aren't those colors amazing? All right. Um, the pattern this month is for this cable scarf and gloves. Sorry, shine. There we go. Cable scarf and gloves or doobie 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 these gorgeous things uh 
but they're kind of like arm cuffs. And if you're into kind of having your hands free, but still want your arms warm, that's kind of cool. Two versions, lace up and buttons. It doesn't come with buttons. Um, that's Valentina. And I think that might be it. Oh, you can do it with floppy hands too. So lots and lots of different versions of how to finish those. And then the socks. Oh my lord, look at those stripes. How cool is that? Not with that box, obviously. And these look really cute. Now the only reason I don't do socks is because I hate slouchy socks. You, you have to wear slouchy socks with things like leggings or jeans, which is what I used to do when I was a teenager. But that is the um, September box. And the colorways for October are purples and browns and oh, good night. So this is what I got. This is Audine wool. That green is, well, frankly, not my color. It's so, so bright. But you know what? It would knit up into something like, um, you know, those kind of maybe a poof stool, maybe. And, you know, make a giant ball kind of thing with that. This is Colorway Unwind. This is a 55% fine merino wool, 30% baby alpaca, 15% mulberry silk. It's 220 yards or 100 grams each. Uh, machine wash gentle cycle lay flat to dry and the color lot is the same and they're all made exclusively for knit crate but aren't they gorgeous now next month i actually have a double down box coming to me so i can't wait to see what that is and look we got a little star needle minder not a needle minder uh, stitch marker it's all kinds of cute um so that is my september knit crate so next month okay next month what are we getting uh, next month we are going to have um, all of the thread clubs available from a stitch in time um, from a stitch in time store my local store we are going to have a double down box and the knit crate box the regular monthly knit crate box from knit crate next month that should be here actually any day um we are going to have the regular darn good yarn we are i'm going to be able to show you the pattern for uh part three of the dark queen of the sea not a mermaid ursula stitch along and um, be able to show you an idea of what the chapters might look like for harry potter um there will be the month update for Peppermint Purple Stitch Long, which I'm cracking on with. And there will be a frog sassy pouch. Now, these are my previous sassy pouches, the purple envelope. That purple envelope is going to be frog themed next month. So there may even be something Kermity in there. I don't know, but it's going to be all kinds of cute. I love frogs. So from the... sassy pouch point of view they do presents like it's all wrapped up and there's 12 of them um maybe as a bit of a um training thing i was thinking of doing some vlogs um so that would be a daily vlog for 12 days and unpack a sassy thing each day and give you maybe a daily kind of hi you know where am i up to what have i been doing in little snapshots um this is kind of to practice for me doing a daily vlog in December um, leading up to Christmas and everything else and it might well I don't know how it's gonna go with my mood whether it will lift or depress I struggle with Christmas my family my ne my siblings are and dad are over in Ireland in crazy lockdown again um, so yeah there's a the distance wrong season and everything else and it feels all kinds of weird and wrong so um yes we'll see how that one goes um so yeah there's going to be lots and lots to show you uh for next month's floss tube as always with my floss tube type of things darn good yarns and knit crates sometimes go up during the week but i do try and keep floss 
related stuff also for the weekends. So that would be on the, the either floss tube videos or uh, it, playlists, whatever I have uh, coordinated them into. Um, yeah, what else is new? Um, I think that's probably it. I will be tidying up my description. I will try and get all my links in for this uh, when I upload the video and um, yeah, I'm not sure how many weekends we even have in November, so I'm not sure how many videos you get. I know I'm way behind on some. I mean, I'm reading a September issue. So, sorry. Australia is so far behind for magazines. I know Stitcherista has already done a December issue of something. And it's like, yikes. So, yeah, it's just kind of my humble opinion on flip-throughs. Showing you what's out there for that point of view. Um, oh, yes. This month I became a the Black Needle Society on Instagram and on Facebook. I became a VIP for them. Now, Rachel Ray has become a rep, which means that she gets most of the things. The VIPs, um, we get to showcase very much like the sassy pouch kind of thing. Um, we get to showcase what's in some of the more special quarterly boxes. Um, and that's just until maybe we get a bit more COVID normal with our mail. Um, at the moment, it's so slow and unreliable that that's why they've got overseas people, you know, not getting quite so many boxes. Um, Rachel, you will certainly see them more. So if you're interested in the Black Needle Society, there are subscription boxes. Um, I have a code, uh, PIPA15. Yes, I think it's PIPA15. Anyway, the links will be on the link tree and my Instagram, which is linked down below. Um, if you are interested in the Black Needle Society boxes, you can get the discount on the box to box uh, subscription. So in, in this case, it's not really a subscription. You're just buying a single box. You get a discount. If you get the three monthly or six monthly subscriptions, so it's a rollover subscription. The discount is already built into that. So you can use my reference code just as an idea for tracking. Otherwise, um, have at it. Enjoy it. The frog, wart, frog warts looked amazing. The description that they gave for a mug somebody designed, the artistry around the mug took 100 hours of work. Um, I think we underestimate artwork sometimes. And um, the the work that went into that mug alone is just beyond belief. So, um, yeah, I think that's incredible. So you are definitely getting quality, something different. Um, I think they are on YouTube. I've been watching videos on YouTube of them doing the um, unboxing of them every couple of days. So every two days they will do an unboxing. And they've got them in tandem on the screen, the girls. And it's so, so cool watching them as they unpack. Michelle Bendy Stitchy is also one of them um, who is going to be a VIP. There are five VIPs and five or six reps. All the details are back on my Instagram, really, um, in relation to that. And possibly on my Facebook page. I think I have done that as well on my Facebook page. That would be my business page, not my personal page. Um, again, links in the description. Please follow the links. Um, join in wherever you can. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, have I caught up? I'll take a sip of tea while I think. Um, yeah, I think that might be it. Uh, I have so much stuff in the mail at the moment. It's n not funny. Um, for all kinds of crafts and craziness. So stay posted on that. I will probably do a more of a big reveal for the stitch related in a floss tube. Um, all right. I will let you go. I think, I think we're done. Um, I think I've caught you up on all the news. Um, yeah. Go play. Go do your own thing. Shoot. Shoot. All right. I'll see you around on the tubes. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please drop me a like or a comment if there's something that you're after. As I said, I'm quite happy to dissect those magazines within reason 
with the whole, um, you know, you take out a page, something else is going to be at a loss. So I'll maybe copy something so that it make, makes sure that that's not at a loss. Um, but quite happy to dissect and disseminate and put things in the mail. Um, the mail is still being really stupid. I have something like this that has to go out and, sorry, addresses. Um, I have something like this that has to go out. It's a letter, but they're actually charging package rates. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit not so out there. So um, we'll see how we go. It could be that I scan and email. Um, now, my subscriber count is growing and I will start to gather up a... Um, something like a Google form, a bit like Rachel actually does because I think it's a safer idea. So stay tuned on that one and I will have that knotted out, I think, by the end of November and have that on my next floss tube. And we'll see if I can get to a thousand for Christmas. That would be cool. All right. Bye. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.